All right, and welcome to part two of my Xbox 360 final game collection. No more 360 games for me. Um, same format as before. Sorry about the angle. I have no tripod. Let's get right into it with this one, Majin and the Forsaken Kingdom. I hope I said that right. Um, that's a weird game. Pretty weird didn't get that, that much into it. Final Fantasy 13 2. Weird holographic cover. I have a thing about Final Fantasy 13. I don't I had 13, I traded it in. Did not buy Lightning Returns. This is a decent game, but Final Fantasy in my opinion has not been good since Final Fantasy 10. Final Fantasy 15 is not getting my hopes up. So, I don't know what the hell is going on. 7, 8, 9, and 10 are, in my opinion, the best Final Fantasy games, period. This is not a bad game, but it's not excellent either. Angry Birds Trilogy. Yes, I bought this for the 360. Yes, I know you can play it for free on your phone. Um, I just wanted it for achievements. I thought it was fun, it's got exclusive new levels, but yeah, Angry Birds Trilogy, probably one of the very few who owns it. L.A. Noir, I hope I said that right, um, excellent game, detective, 50s era cop thing, pretty cool, finished it, fully completed it, excellent DLC story all around amazing game they need to do another one family guy back to the multiverse uh, this is a weird game um, the graphics uh, they're not that great they pretty much look like that actually no they don't they look like that but I beat it meh it's a meh um, Dungeon Siege 3, never even really heard of this, never heard of Dungeon Siege in 1 or Dungeon Siege 2, but, uh, it's a fun game, never beat it, but it's decent. <laughs> this game, South Park, The Stick of Truth, amazing, hilarious, one of my favorite RPGs on the 360, they're coming out with another one. South Park, the shattered but whole, play on words, ha ha ha. But the Stick of Truth, funny, crazy ass game. There is shit in this game that I never thought I would see. Pick this up, highly recommended. South Park, Stick of Truth. Um, get another. The Price Is Right, decades. I don't know why I buy these. I really don't. <sighs> Family Game Night 3, this comes with Mousetrap, Yahtzee, Hands Down, Clue, Twister, and Life, Game of Life. Game of Life is actually pretty fun, but Family Game Night 3. Enslaved, Odyssey to the West, very, very good game. Beat it, amazing, amazing story. Did not expect that when I bought it. But very, very good game. Ugh. You Don't Know Jack. The irreverent trivia party game. Um, it gets old after a while. Pretty funny. But this is an old, like, 90s thing. And they keep trying to bring it back. But, yeah. Or 2000s. I don't know when it was. It was a long time ago. Rage. From the creators of Doom and Quake, Rage. This was a surprisingly good game. I liked it. Reminded me a lot of Borderlands. Battlefield Bad Company 2. I enjoyed this one. I like the Battlefield games. I'm one of the rare people that actually likes the Battlefield campaigns. And I like this campaign. And the multiplayer is really good. Battlefield 3 
Premium Edition. When they announced Battlefield 4, I waited because I knew they were going to come out with a Premium Edition because it is at over, over $100 value. It comes with all the DLC. And it has a lot of DLC. So I bought Battlefield 4 for Xbox One Premium Edition. Because I knew they were going to do that when I saw Battlefield 3. Oh, my foot is cramping. I have to change my seating position. Saints Row 2. The last, quote, gangsta, unquote, Saints Row game. Because they got pretty weird after this. But Saints Row 2. And then I have Saints Row 3 for the Xbox 360. Games with gold. It was a free download. Never bought it. But I did buy Saints Row 4. And then I bought this again in the Saints Row 4 Reelected and Got Out of Hell pack. You're the President of the United States and you blow shit up. It's weird. Um, the Sims 3, this is mostly for my wife. She loves The Sims. Um, I think it's fun for a little while. I get burnt out on it. But The Sims 3 for console. It's actually very good for console and The Sims 3 Pets um, this is the better version to buy if you have to pick between the two because it's just like The Sims 3 except you get pets but they do have different achievement lists so if you like achievements might as well get both because they're pretty easy to get for the most part Batman Arkham Asylum this is the game of the year edition um, crazy good game. Loved it. Amazing. Yeah. Um, they're out of order for some reason. That bugs me. Batman Arkham City. Again, excellent game. Not much to say about that. That hasn't been said already. And then I have Batman Arkham Origins. And of course I have Batman Arkham Knight for Xbox One. Um, I'm going to get into my... These are out of order. What the freak? Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I don't have many Call of Duty games. I don't have the first one. I mostly borrow them from people because everyone I know has them. Um, Black Ops 3 looks pretty good. Call of Duty Black Ops. And that's it. Those are the only two Call of Duties I have. Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops. I don't have Black Ops 2. I don't have Modern Warfare 3. I've played them. I have played them all. And the campaigns. Ghosts. I have Ghosts and I have Advanced Warfare for Xbox One. So, but those are the only two I own for Xbox 360. Fallout 3. Oh my god. Um, this game is insane. The hype for Fallout 4 is crazy real. I have the Pip-Boy Edition. I will do an unboxing for the Pip-Boy Edition. Um, and then I'm, I have the Pip-Boy Edition coming in the mail from Amazon, but I also pre-ordered a copy to pick up at GameStop so I could you know, go to the midnight release, come home, and play it immediately. So, yeah, I'm, I'm getting two copies of Fallout 4, but yeah. Fallout 3... Like, if you haven't played this, crawl out from under your rock and play it. And, of course, Fallout New Vegas. This is, in my opinion, just as good. Um, the dialogue, in my opinion, is slightly better in New Vegas. They have more options, more dialogue. Um, the story isn't as good. And the quests aren't as inventive. But this is, no doubt, an excellent game as well. On par with Fallout 3, in my opinion. Um, Lego Indiana Jones, The Original Adventures, and it's also Kung Fu Papa Panda. But this is one of those weird, weird games. I think I think somebody gave this to me or something or to my kids. I don't know. And Lego The Hobbit. Now, if you check my gamer card which I will leave a I will leave my gamer card in the description. Um, I have all the Lego games. The thing I would do, which I don't do anymore, I would buy the Lego game, play it 
fully complete it, and then trade it in as fast as possible to get most of my credit back for it. But I don't really do that anymore because the LEGO games have gotten really, really big. This one is crazy big. It's like an open world RPG. I mean, it's nuts. It's not like LEGO Indiana Jones. And, you know, the Xbox One versions are getting even bigger. Um, Dragon Age Origins. Huge RPG. Crazy, crazy good. I do, I do not like the combat in this, but, you know, it was made for PC, but still really good. Then this is the expansion pack, Dragon Age Origins Awakening. I bought the disc version. You can buy, download it, but I bought the disc version. And the ever divisive Dragon Age 2. You either love it or you hate it. Most people did not like it. I did not really like it. But Dragon Age 2. And yes, I have Dragon Age Inquisition on Xbox One. I keep having to re rearrange myself. Band Hero. Weird pop music. 65 songs of the biggest pop artists. Um, well, biggest pop artists when this came out. So, weird, fun little game. This is a double pack. Guitar Hero 2 and Guitar Hero Aerosmith. Both of them. Crazy good. Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock. I was in love with this game. One of my favorite Guitar Heroes. Guitar Hero Smash Hits. If you can't tell, the Guitar Hero and Rock Band games are some of my favorite. Guitar Hero World Tour. This had the drums and, you know, singing and everything with it. Um, Guitar Hero Metallica, one of my favorite Guitar Hero games. I love Metallica. It has all kinds of metal, like everybody you can imagine, 20 guest acts. They were hand-picked by Metallica, so Metallica picked all the songs in that game. Um, this next one's kind of weird. I'm going to have to open it and show you. I actually got this in the mail for free, Guitar Hero Van Halen. Um, I got it for free because I bought Guitar Hero 5. And it came with a code to get it mailed in for free. I was one of the first people to buy it or whatever. I don't remember how it was. But yeah, the Guitar Hero 5, I would not pay money for Guitar... Actually, yes, I probably would. But I wouldn't pay 60 bucks for it. Guitar Hero 5 is excellent. Um, but you can tell Van Halen, the graphics are not on par with Guitar Hero 5. It's like the old Guitar Hero 2. It's weird. They ca came out at the same time, but it's weird. And the last Guitar Hero, Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock, until October 20th. When Guitar Hero Live comes out. And that is part two of my Xbox 360 collection. Um, I'll probably do the rest in the last part. I'll make this three parts. So, yeah. A lot of games over the years. Alright. Thanks for watching.